Hi there, this is Mrs. Rusnak. Today I'm gonna to show you how to stand pivot transfer from bed to wheelchair using a gate belt. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and sanitize my hands, rub the um, sanitizer all over on all surfaces and let it dry. The equipment that you need for this skill is you need a pair of non-skid slippers, which is typically in their bedside table. You need a gate belt and you need a wheelchair. I'm gonna go ahead and knock on the residence door. Knock, knock. Hi, Mr. Strimple, how are you? I'm good. Good, I'm Amy, I'm your STNA. I was gonna go ahead and get you out of bed and put you into a wheelchair. How's that sound? Good. Good, all right, um, I wanna make sure that this is Mr. Strimple, which it is. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and give him privacy by pulling the um, privacy curtain. I'm gonna go ahead and lock the bed, and I'm gonna also pull the wheelchair where it is touching the side of the bed. You'll notice I took this leg off of the wheelchair you can either kick them backwards or you can take them off completely because they kind of get in the way and then put it back on in the end. So I'm gonna go ahead, make sure my wheelchair is touching the bed and I'm gonna go ahead and lock these two brakes on the wheelchair. So my bed is locked and my wheelchair is locked. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise the bed up. So for safety reasons, I'm gonna pull this side rail and I'm gonna come over, raise the bed up so I can put on his non-skid slippers. And that bed kind of just unlocked my wheelchair, so I paid attention to that and then I relocked it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put on his non skid slippers. This might actually be easier for. And then I'm gonna go ahead, let's uncover you, Mr. Strimple. Pull these back away from him. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use good body mechanics. So I am gonna have a wide base, I'm gonna bend my knees, and then I, depending on how much help he needs, I'm gonna go ahead and pull him around to the side of the bed and to dangle. All right, can you go ahead and put your arms around me? Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and lift you up. I'm gonna bring your legs around. All right, and then I wanna go ahead, make sure I'm standing in front of him and I'm gonna lower the bed so his feet touch the floor. Some residents can get up by themselves. You don't need to assist them very much. You can just ask them to sit up. Others need a lot more assistance. Okay, and he's pretty tall, so his feet are about to touch the ground. And I want to make sure that my wheelchair didn't move when my bed went down, my brakes are still on. Now I'm going to go ahead and put a gate belt around him. The gate belt gives you kind of like a handle to hold on to the resident. Okay, and as far as the tightness of it, you might want to come closer, Lydia. I want to tighten this. So I can at least just put two finger um, widths between the belt and his um, skin, okay? We don't want it super tight, but we want it tight enough that it's not gonna slip off, all right? The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, you can do this one of two ways. You can either alternate his legs and your legs and straddle him that way, or you can go ahead and straddle both sides of his legs and you wanna bend your knees and we're gonna go ahead and lift him up. When you, when you transfer and you pivot, he's not gonna take several steps to get into the wheelchair. You're gonna go up, you're gonna turn, and you're gonna drop him or put him down in a controlled manner, all right? That's kind of how that works. So you wanna make sure your wheelchair is uh, placed correctly. All right, you're gonna help me a little bit, okay? All right, so you're gonna go ahead and put your arms around me, up above, like that, there you go. And on the count of three, we're gonna go ahead and stand. One. Two, we're gonna stand up. I'm gonna turn him and he's gonna go down in a controlled manner, okay? Um, so that's kind of how we do that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take the gate belt off, okay? And then I will go ahead and put his feet up on the wheelchair. At 
this point I can unlock his wheelchair. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put this leg on if I took it off. And these can be lowered. Okay. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and make sure he has his call light. Do you want to sit in here for a little while? Yeah. Okay, so I'll make sure you have your call light. So I'll give that to him. And then I'll go ahead and open the privacy curtain. If you need us, you can just give us a call, okay? Okay. All right. And then I'll go ahead and the last thing I do is sanitize my hands. Thank you.